You have to hear this. There's such a revelation in this message. You are about to leave the obscurity. Amen. You are not going to remain hidden. Everything is about to make sense. Everything that you've just gone through, it's about to make sense. Yes. That's where the light was birthed. Yes. So that you could come out of hiding. Ooh. Why would God light your light mm. through everything you've been through only mm -hmm. to hide you? Ooh. When God begins to light up your spirit, mm. revelation, healing. Yes. Yes. The Holy Spirit is about to reveal you. My goodness. The Holy Spirit is getting ready to reveal you. Amen. He's about to put you like a city on a hill. Mm. Oh, my, my. Yes. I love you. Amen. If you believe in the power of the word of God, type amen in the comments. Subscribe more. There's something in you that needs to come out that you've been keeping for yourself. There's something, there's a talent, there is potentials in you that the world needs to hear. This is your sign that you are the light of the word. There's something in you that God has placed. There's a dream. There is something in you that the one who created you, because God is the potter and you are the clay. So as a potter, right, is shaping you, is molding you into this wonderful piece of artwork and you have to surrender your life to God. You have to give God the full control of your life so that he can guide you so that he can use that talent that's in you and he can be used for the greater good and that talent can be used for his kingdom. Hello, your talent, whatever you have, the potential that you have can be used for the advancement of the kingdom of God. You can use that talent to bring forth the light of God. This is your sign to remember that you are the light of the word. If you're a Christian and you're lost and confused, you're going through a season of your life where you're feeling very confused, you're kind of like stuck in a box and you don't know where to go, there's only one place you can go to, run to your father, go back to your father. You remember, you always have to keep that child's heart acknowledging that God is your father. So don't think that you're too smart than God. Don't think that you're way bigger than God because God, as the last say, keep that place as a child when you're going to God as your father you need to surrender your life to Jesus. Amen. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Okay. Do that for Jesus. Do that for your sister in Christ. Okay. And if you haven't given your life to Christ, this is your sign. Give your life to Christ today. This is the day to give your life to Christ. It's never too late to give your life to Christ. It's never too late. It's never too early. Okay. As long as you're still breathing, as long as you're still here, you have a choice. And that choice is do you want to go to hell or do you gonna to want to go to heaven? And when you choose to go to heaven, guess what? You have God on your side walking with you every day to make sure you're going to make it to heaven. To make sure when Jesus Christ returns, you're going to be raptured and you're going to go. And even if Jesus doesn't come today, but tomorrow, if you happen to die or something happens to you, suddenly you have a car accident and you're gone or whatever accident that can happen, you know, suddenly you know that you have that faith and assurance in your heart. And so you're saved no matter what. This is a reminder for us as believers. As believers, we know the Bible says that we are the light of the word. We cannot be hidden. So whatever the situation that you're going through, you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're hidden. You cannot really break through and come out of that. This is a reminder for all of us that God is, is not finished with us yet. He's not done with us. So there's still hope for us. So we need to hope and believe in God that he is the one that's going to take us out of whatever situation that we're into, whatever problem that we're dealing with. God hasn't said his last word. We are the light of the word. We're supposed to bring forth the light of Christ. Shine his light so that the word around us can see. Because this word is full of confusion. This word is full filled with confusions of all sorts. People don't know what to do. People don't know where to go. They have no hope. People are depressed. People are weak. They're feeling sick in their bodies. They're feeling sick in their minds, in their heads, the areas of their lives. But we know one thing, Jesus is the solution. We know one thing, God so loved the word that he gave his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to save the word. So Jesus is our solution. Amen. Jesus is the one and only who came 
and died at the cross for us. Jesus is the name that we can always run to. When we feel like nobody's going to be there for us, we know that we can always run to Jesus. When you feel like nobody's there, nobody has time to even take your phone. Like when you're calling people, you're stuck in a situation and you're trying to call people and nobody's answering the phone. Guess what? You can always call Jesus. He's going to be there and he's going to come at the right time to rescue you. So this is your reminder to always put God first and to always trust in God. Trust and believe that he's not done with you yet. As believers, if you believe in the power of God, if you've been through different situations, struggles, challenges, this is your sign that you need to come back to your path. If you're blessed by this word, make sure to share this with someone as to hear this. Sometimes we don't realize this. We like to keep things for ourselves, but a message or whatever you're watching and listening to could be a blessing to someone else. And you don't know God can be using you to play such an important role in getting that person back to Christ. So if you are blessed by the message on this channel, on this page, make sure to share with someone else. Okay. Don't keep it for yourself. Subscribe to my page. Uh, leave a comment if you're blessed at any point of the message, if there's any particular part that touched you. And I love you guys. Look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. God bless you.